Okay, so we just got... <laughs> Why are you such a poop face? <laughs> We're really excited to meet the team tomorrow. I have no voice. Hey guys, so we just got to LA and we got to the rental car place, got our car. It is currently 11.14. My name is Francesca Akimpora. I am 14 years old and I've been cheering for six years. Like ever since I started cheering, Smoed has been like my favorite team. Like I've always wanted to come see Smoed and see what it was like uh, at Cali. So me and my best friend Kat, we came to visit the gym and visit Smoed. We're on our way to the gym right now. We're about half an hour away and we're so excited to meet the team. Uh, oh, you just killed it. <laughs> I started at a small gym in Westchester, New York, and I was on a level two team there. And then I moved to a gym in Mayapak where I was still on a level two team. And then I kind of grew out of that gym. So then now um, it's my first year at World Cup and I'm a World Cup twinkle. So I have Tourette syndrome, which is a neurodevelopmental disorder where you have vocal and motor tics, which are uncontrollable um, involuntary movements and sounds. I like cheerleading because, I don't know, it's just really fun to me and it's like my happy place. But cheerleading does also help me because like when I'm at cheer, I kind of, don't have to focus on it so much like Tourette's it's like when I'm at cheerleading I just enjoy it so much whether it's like hard work or like it's like playful like I always love being at cheerleading so me and my best friend Kat we came to visit the gym and visit Smoed. So when I first walked into the gym, it was really cool because you got to see all like the world's trophies. And then, you know, just seeing Eddie and Orby in person, it was really cool because like, I don't know, I've always like kind of dreamed of like meeting them. Hey, friends. Hi. How are you? Good. Uh, I'm Eddie. Good to meet you. Where are you from? New York. Yeah, I've lived there for the past few years. <laughs> what are you doing here? And we're raising for tourists. That's awesome. You gonna meet all the time? Michael Eddy walked in the gym, and it was kind of like he's like him and Robert Sienna were like my favorite people on cheerleaders like ever. Like I've always wanted to meet them, so that was pretty cool. She just had surgery. Um, this is Maddie. Hi. Small COVID. I just it's always been that division. It's always been so competitive. And Smoed's always been like one of the best teams in that division. It's always been one of my dream teams. I don't know where you're at, but you can talk to, to whatever you can do, okay, ladies? Okay. Yeah. And if it's too scary, go try it. There's something else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, ladies. So a lot of people think that Tourette's is just like they call it the cursing disease because that's how the media portrays it, and like that's what people kind of think is funny. And that's corporealia, and only 10% of people with Tourette's have that. So there's like, Tourette's is much, it's a much bigger thing than just that. I just think that people should know that it's not a joke. It affects the person, everyday life, and everybody who's with them standing with them, and I don't think it should be used as a joke. Do we make three like, hey, there's one, two, three. Where are you guys from? It's really cool that like, they can be here and work with us and like, overcome their syndrome and push through. My brother has a disease and he's sick, but he's totally, he acts crazy, he's fine. It was a lot of fun. Um, also tumbling with the team, you know, they were all very helpful and it was just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. so thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> it was just a lot of fun.
My name is Gavin, I'm 17 years old and I've been cheering for six years. I'm from a small town in West Virginia called Clarksburg. It all pretty much started with I wanted to learn how to do a backflip and then I just got into it and I really enjoyed it. And then I ended up doing school cheer, that was a lot, and then yeah. I saw an opportunity here, so I went for it. I actually reached out to Gavin's coach and I got nothing but great things uh, said about him. So I was like, yeah, this seems like a kid that's actually gonna work. I cheered at a small gym, North Central Athletics, and then around like the ending, right before I came here, I went to another gym and tumbled there, Champs Central. Smith has been my dream team since like, I mean, ever since I got into cheer, like I saw them and I was just like, yeah, like someday I have to be on that team. Like, I'm going to do it. My coach just sent me the link and I sent in a video and I just went for it. One, two, three, and seven straight legs. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Good. You know, at first we were kind of iffy about it. I didn't. It's really hard to read him, he's a little shy. You know, just first impressions everything and it's really hard to read a kid that you haven't coached before. Three releases over the ball of the foot, clean, sponge down, back spot, stay the same. Cool, flyer, squeeze together, stay on the balls of your feet. Do we get it? Legs, fast, six, seven, and legs. Open catch, roll them in, seven, and two. Open catch, roll them in, seven, and three. Open catch, hold, six, seven, tight. Two, three, up, five, six, seven, out. Up. If she's on her heels and it's not being corrected, that means the back spot needs to lift, okay? I've never been to California. I've been lots of other cities, but I was excited, but I was nervous. I was kind of overwhelmed because, I mean, like, I'm 17, I had to move out here all the way on my own, no parents, no one really, just by myself. It's a lot, it's a really great opportunity. I know some people will work for so long and pretty much their whole cheer career to like be on this team and to think that I made it starting out with like nothing but a car wheel. It was just, I don't know, like it's, it's really exciting and I'm really blessed honestly to be on it. So you're going straight to the side, straight to the middle, straight to the side, straight to the middle. And don't let your heels touch the ground, please. God bless you. That was really dramatica. My name is Kami Wilson, and I've been cheering now for 12 years. So this is going to be my fourth year on SMOED. I started uh, SMOED as a flyer. And the year after that, I ended up becoming the tumbler and taking a new leadership role on the team. And that was the year we won Worlds. And last year was the first year I was a full-time side base entire season and now I'm back as a base again. Two, three, shot, and seven, set, one, and three, down on five, up, and legs, fast, hit, six, seven, back. It's been really fun. I really miss cheer. There's something that you can't replace. You can try and replace it with high school cheer and I'm doing ASB and senior class president and everything like that and all of that time consuming stuff. It doesn't fulfill what I needed from SMOED. And what I get from SMOED is just lifelong relationships that you can't find anywhere else. Two, hold six, seven, and three. Hold six, seven, back. Two, three, up. Squeeze your ankles tight, one, up. All right, old girl, I see you. Good job. Being here without Ari is just like, it's not right. Like that's literally what it feels like. Like it feels like a whole entire part is missing. Like. I was thinking about it the other day and who am I gonna do my rituals with? Like, she's the one I take a photo with, I do a prayer with, I walk with her to the competition. And now he's like, okay, partner up for conditioning. And I'm like, my partner isn't here. Come on, Cammie! Come on, Cammie! Come on, Queen. Stick and squeeze, ladies. Come on, Cammie, you better set with one arm. It's so odd because I've only known her for three years and that is one of the best relationships in my life. Like, she is my go-to, whether it be cheer or school or boys or whatever, like, she is it. And not having her here, like, not having, like, that rock and my, like, at practice when I'm having a hard day, like, it's really weird, honestly. So my name is Ari and I'm currently 16 years old, but I act like a 12-year-old. 
So yeah. I think there is definitely a big possibility Ari can come back. I think it's gonna take her a little bit of time, but I think we were both in the same position coming off the of last season where we wanted to kind of venture off and do things we didn't get to do, like travel and meet new people and do other things other than cheer. But I think she's gonna soon realize it too, that Samoa is it. Throw your arms. Yay! Level three, just for free. The decision of coming back or not coming back was really hard for me just because I love this team with my whole entire heart. I love Smoed. I am always thinking about it and it just means everything to be on such an amazing team like this. But coming off of last season and getting fourth place, it wasn't even the loss that affected me so much. It was just the fact that I felt like I failed the team. Does it burn yet? Faster, faster, faster. I would do it, but my stomach hurts. I had a big lunch. <laughs> Cammy's back and I'm so excited because now I feel like I have another leader to help me guide this team and hopefully we can have fun and help them move on to do something great this season. You know, coming off as one of the main four leaders and I just felt like I didn't do my job. I wasn't doing enough for the people that relied on me and just without Enrique and Haley coming back this year because they aged out to Reckless, it was like, if I couldn't do it with them, how am I going to do it without them? How am I going to be the one to step up and take the role that they had? So just coming back, it, I just realized that's a really selfish reason for me not to come back, just that they would need me more, that I can help them more. Just the fact that me and Lexi are the only ones that knows what it means to come off of a losing season and come back the next season and win. And right now we're coming off a losing season, so Smo needs to learn how to lose. We need to learn how to take the failure, make the mistakes, and come back and turn it into something more. And two more minutes, and then we're gonna wave in the corner, you're gonna salute, and then go by yourself while everybody else cheers you on. Point your feet hard, arms. Ar oh, those feet, buddy! It's just kind of crazy, like, just a second, I stepped back in the Jensen's world and like we're back to assessments and evaluations. Get in the corner, let's go, one at a time. Contestant number one. <laughs> hey guys, it's Moa and our Restricted Five All-Stars. Let's go. I had to wake up super early, ended up missing my original flight, so that was stressful. And then I almost missed my other flight when I was in Atlanta. And then, so I got here, Eddie picked me up. First day evaluations, that was pretty nerve wracking because I had no idea until Eddie picked me up. Try it again. Got it. I'm not saying you're nervous because the whole team's watching you, but the whole team's watching. Let's go. It's kind of intimidating because there's a lot of people who try out for Smoke and it's a really hard team to make. So, I mean, you never know. Like one mess up, you could be replaced any second. So, it's pretty overwhelming. All right, standing tumbling. Let's go. Are you okay? What should you do? Orbs, can you help her? I don't know. I saw her flip over there and then I thought she fell and then she just yelled out. Carlin, give her air. I went for my wonderful and I went into it and then I landed short and I felt my kneecap pop out and like it wasn't that bad, but what like concerned me was that that was the fourth time it's popped out. Did you do what you did last year? Yes. Oh my God, what happened? What did you feel? What did you do? Okay. Okay. Take a deep breath. I'm Stace, I'm 18 years old, and I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I saw Ed East tweet that they needed a boy and just stepped up. We have Gavin, 
from uh, West Virginia and we have Stays from Louisiana. And I'm gonna take a chance on these guys. They don't have everything that I need right now, but they seem to be the type of kids that I'm looking for. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Catch you later.